So the GoPro Volta came out and I actually like this thing a lot. By the way, I don't work for GoPro and I'm not here trying to convince you to buy this. However, if you are interested in this, you may be wondering if it's worth the money over say buying a third party setup that roughly does the same things. So let's look into it, do the math, and let's find out. That's Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black and I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you are new here, you know, don't be a stranger. Click that button right there. To everyone else, if you wanna click that one, it gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling. I felt that, thank you. Links to everything we're talking about, plus some more information will be down in the description, plus some coupon codes and a surprise link. Surprise. So let's talk about the options and we'll start with the GoPro Volta. The GoPro Volta comes in at $91 with a subscription and let's just go ahead and use subscription prices because if you don't have a subscription, well, you should get it, it's totally worth it. And then we add the media mod at $56 and also we're gonna use US dollar prices because I just don't wanna have to put everyone's currency up there. If, you know, if you're wondering what your currency is, you could just yell it out to your Siri or Alexa or whatever, watch. Hey Alexa, what's 56 US dollars in Australian dollars? 56 US dollars is about 75 Australian dollars. See. So we add the media mod at $56, which provides you a two-way microphone, auxiliary microphone options, and HDMI out. All right, so I'm using the Volta grip and the media mod microphone. This is what it sounds like. Check one, two. It's pretty good when you're up close to it. And then let's add the light mod. The light mod comes in at $35, which I should mention, it's waterproof up to 10 meters. It has a brightness levels up to 200 lumens and a six hour runtime on the lowest brightness setting and it has a diffuser on it. In case you're wondering uh, what it looks like at night, this is the Volta and this is the light mod. Ready? So that's it on and let's go as bright as we can. And uh, now you can see how bright it is. So the total of all of this minus the GoPro is $182. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about the Volta and what it does, you know, you can always click this video right there and take a look at it. So the best alternative to the media mod without the HDMI out or built-in microphone is something like this. Up here at the top, you get the Ulanzi case, which comes in at $20. Plus you'll need the GoPro 3.5 millimeter adapter, which comes in at $35. And the best but cheapest half decent microphone option is the Saren VMQ-1 for $30. All right, so this is the third party setup. This is what it sounds like with that $30 microphone. You know, I like this microphone. I think it sounds pretty good, especially on this kit. So the only real downside to this whole setup is it just looks crazy with all the wires hanging out and stuff. It's just not as compact. I mean, obviously you can bump up to like wireless microphones and top of the line microphones as well. Now for the battery grip, the Ulanzi BG2 is the way to go. It's got a 6,800 milliamp hour battery, which is actually 25% more battery life than the Volta. But this comes in at $30. And then you'll need some legs because you know the Volta is a tripod. So we'll have to get some little tripod legs and these will come in at $10. And then let's find a comparable light, something like this. However, this is not waterproof and it only lasts three hours, but it comes in at $13. But you know what, screw that. Let's keep it kind of similar. We'll put the Ulanzi cute light on, which is waterproof and lasts for four hours. And that comes in at $40. And this is the cute light. Wow, it's really bright and it gets brighter. Wow, that's really bright. <laughs> so we add all of that up and we get $165. But remember, the Volta also has a built-in remote. And I'm not sure how that would exactly attach on here, but you can get the GoPro remote for $56, or Teleson has a really good one for $45, and let's just say $40 with my coupon code. So now add all of that up and that comes in at $205. So now we're looking at $182 for this setup versus $205 for this Frankenstein monstrosity of a setup. So maybe you don't like the built-in media mod mic. Well, I mean, you can always add that $30 microphone as well or any other microphone. All right, so now I'm using the Volta grip with a $30 microphone on top and uh, you can hear the difference between those and you can you know, let me know what you think is better. All right, so I'm using the Volta grip and the media mod microphone. This is what it sounds like. Check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. And now the setup comes in at $212 versus 205. In my opinion, I like this one better. I like it being all compact and just right there, able to just fit in your hand and ready to go. Plus the Volta has this pop-out mount for extra mounting and it also has a screw thread on the bottom so you can attach it to a longer selfie pole. But let's just go down one more option. Maybe you already have the mics and the media mods and all of that stuff. So we just need to look at the bottom half, which is the battery pack and tripod. So now that comes in at $91 versus $40. But then also we add the remote and that's another 40. So $91 versus $80. 
which is not far off, and you get more battery power on the power grip, but you don't get the pop-out mount, you don't get the screw thread down here, and I also think that the Volta is just a lot more sturdy. But for me, in traveling, I think this is great. It's like you got an extra three batteries on this thing when you go out, and when you just wanna charge them all together, it's just all right there. You charge it all up in one unit. So it's kinda nice to just have it all in place. And here's my favorite option. It's the Volta with the extra microphone on top. The built-in microphone sounds fine in some circumstances, but that's my choice. And of course, there are more options and different configurations. This is definitely my favorite and well worth it, and just way more sleek. But hopefully this video was helpful, and if it was, make sure you click that like button, that helps out a lot. I got a lot more products to review and some fun videos to make, some really exciting stuff coming up. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Master Black. I'll take any questions you might have, you, and then uh, one more. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No.